So let's continue with some basic steps when using tiled with a DIY do-it-yourself mapping asset set. <clears throat> a couple things. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as you can see here, the names of these two tile sheets that I brought in uh, are short. Um, if I were to go in, now let's just find one real quick. We're going to go back and go right to the folder where I pulled this. And we're going to make the icons large. You can see I have two variations. Uh, when we submit sets for VTTs, a lot of times we're uh, submitting also keywords. And if I were to bring in one of these with all the keywords in it, uh, all that text would show up as well in the title, uh, making it a little bit more cumbersome to go through. So one tip I would share with you is when you download these sets and once you have them in a folder where they're going to stay, uh, rule number one with Tiled, it pulls from one spot. If you ever move those files, uh, Tiled has a difficult time trying to find where you've put them. So rule number one, keep everything in one spot. Rule number two, once you download them, if the sheets have really long names or tags like this, I would suggest going in and just rename it with a shorter name. Uh, whatever you feel comfortable with, but give it a shorter name. But let's open one up and I'll show you what happens. So this is one that we would submit with a set. So I'm going to open that up, hit OK. And now, if I were to go, this whole title comes up. And it makes it more difficult to see what else to click between different sets. Um, I would have to scroll a lot more. Whereas with these, with a shorter name, by renaming them a smaller title, once they're in your folder, it makes it a lot easier for you to click through. So let's just get rid of that. Boink. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about today is we're going to go ahead and put in what if we do multiple image layers. Uh, I was actually kind of concerned about image layers a long time ago because I just hadn't used them. And once I became comfortable with them, there it's like the large form of using an, uh, an object layer. Uh, image layers, let's just get right to it. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to put uh, click on this line because I'm going to right click new I'm going to do an image layer you've seen it done in many of our videos we're going to do it again so we're going to click on this layer we're going to right click and click on layer properties this left column will appear and down here you see image if I click in the right part of that box three little dots appear click on that and it'll ask you, where do you want to pull your image from? So we're going to go in, and we're going to pull our image. And actually, I can shrink this down. Boink. Because a lot of these images are huge. And let's bring in, we're going to bring in a couple. We'll start with this one. Now, this is obviously not the right map for this, so I'm going to delete that unless I want to bring that up. Ooh, that could be cool. Oh, that would be really cool. If it wasn't on the very edge, this would be an excellent thing to save out, to let it explode off the edge of the map. But i got to delete that. OK, so we're going to try it again. And I hope people don't mind when I'm doing these videos. I have no problem uh, recording my mistakes, because if you don't see me making the mistakes and realize it's OK, then, you know, it's kind of creepy. It's, I mean, it's no, nobody's going to do this perfect every time. So let's open that. And now, say I want to bring in another image. But first I want to name this. Very important with your image layers, because you can stack a lot of them up, but you need to name them. So we're going to name this Alchemist. Let's bring in another one. And this over here, click, click, and let's go back. We're going to go, we're going to pick up one of these buildings back here. There are so many buildings. Let's just do a quick one, this one right here. 
when tile brings in a building, it will always set it right here in the corner. So you'll have to bring it out. And much like your tile layers and your object layers, depending on the orient or the where this is stacked in the listing, you can either go above or below. I tend to start putting things, I tend to work from the bottom out. So we're going to go ahead and do another image layer. Bring it in. I'll go grab one from, let's grab one from this side. What are we feeling like? How about this weaver? No, we're going to do the candle maker. I like that. Again, it's pulled it right here to the edge, so we just pull it out. And we're going to do a few more just so we get comfortable with this. Click on another one, and let's try a different viewpoint now, a different perspective. And let's bring in. <laughs> let's bring in a potter. And now, and as you can see, let's zoom in. A lot of our work deals with PNGs with transparencies. So as I bring an object in, you can see ooh, it's right behind, everything's still. So there's a little bit of a shadow there, but you can still see everything. And this is at 100%. So we're going to zoom out, and we're going to pull in one more. Click. And let's do. Didn't I have another in? There's one. That's a cool one. And I put it over in that corner. Now, once I've brought all my images in, I can click this off and go back to decorating. The image layer is divorced from the, the need for having it be an exact ratio. I discussed in our other videos, uh, 140 by 140 uh, pixel grid is what I use. The image layer, however, does not have to conform to that. That is the one layer that does not. If I were bringing in a tile sheet, as I explained before, we need to have this in multiples of whatever tile sizes or tile ratio size that we're having, the dimensions. But an image layer does not. Um, if I brought in... Let's do one last one. Bring in an image layer. We're going to right click properties. And let's go into this folder. And I'm going to bring in this. So here's one where I have a map background. Obviously, the styles are very different. But this is a top down map that I've brought in. So you can see it fits the entire area. So if I wanted to bring pieces in from top-down sets, I could decorate this on top of here, either an object, image, or tile mode. So we're going to turn that off. And I'm going to highlight that so I can move them all at once. Let me turn the frame edge. And now I can export this out like we do when you go to export as image and go from there. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.